Welcome to the Unimus 2.1 release overview. 2.1 has been in development for the last 8 months and brings many new features, both large and small. On top of the new features, we have updated both our backend and frontend frameworks to latest LTS versions, which improves security. We have also fixed a healthy number of bugs and issues and added support for more device types. The 2.1 release is quite large and while this video will cover major new features, we definitely recommend checking out the entire change log. Let's look at the new major features. We have added the ability to create custom backup filters, which allow you to ignore or completely delete parts of the backup received from the devices. This can be useful if you do not want to store some data that the device outputs, or if you want to ignore parts of the backup for config change notifications. For example, if your device outputs some data that is different on every backup, you can create ignore filters to tell Unimus this data should be ignored. Using this, you can create completely custom rules on what to ignore or delete to cut down on expected change notifications. For more information and configuration examples, we have a dedicated article on our blog. Another major update is the change to our NMS Sync feature. We have migrated NMS Sync to use presets instead of static configuration. This provides multiple benefits. For example, you can now configure Sync from as many NMS systems of the same type as you like simply by creating more presets. The second benefit is that NMS Sync is now fully compatible with zones, and you can specify to which zone an NMS Sync preset should import devices to. This update makes NMS Sync very flexible. For example, you can import all your customer networks from a single NMS into multiple Unimus zones, or you can import from multiple NMS systems, each representing a separate zone. If you want more information and examples on how to use these new features, please check our NMS Sync blog article. Moving to config push, we have added a new advanced settings config push window. In the vast majority of use cases, our default config push behavior was sufficient and worked as expected. However, in a few specific cases, there was a need to fine tune how config push behaved and the new advanced settings allow these adjustments. As these settings require a more in-depth explanation and examples on when and how they are useful, I would again suggest checking out our blog article, which contains all the necessary information. Next feature is the possibility to use a NetXMS agent as a zone proxy. When we released support for zones in 2.0, we also released the Unimus core, which can be used as a local polar in remote networks. In 2.1, we are adding the option to use a NetXMS agent as a local polar. If you are using NetXMS and already have an agent deployed in a remote network, you don't need to deploy Unimus core, you can just use your existing agents. This cuts down on the amount of software you need to deploy, and if you already use NetXMS, you can now onboard your networks into Unimus much faster. More details in the documentation on our wiki. Since we are talking about zones, we have also added many improvements and quality of life features to the zones screen. You can now see the versions of the connected cores for each zone. Unimus will also notify you if an older version core is being used for a zone. And we have added compatibility checks, so Unimus and core now negotiate their versions and incompatible cores will not connect at all. On top of these major features, there is also a ton of other small improvements performance upgrades and bug fixes. As mentioned previously, we have also updated to the latest LTS versions of all other dependencies and libraries, which took a lot of time and effort, but vastly improved security. Finally, as we do with all releases, we have also added support for 14 new device types across many vendors. As the 2.1 release is quite large, please check out the full changelog on our forums, and as always, if you find any issues or have any feedback regarding this release or Unimus itself, please reach out to us on our forums, our social accounts or a live chat on our websites. Thanks!